All right, hey folks, it's Papa Son here. I'm starting up a new channel where I wanted to uh, pass on my knowledge to the younger generation. Because I noticed over the last 10 years, a lot of these younger folks don't have a clue at what's going on. So, I was just going to give my version of what I've learned over the years and through other people helping me, maybe it will help you, men and women. This is not just for any particular gender, but I wanted to pass along. Uh, one of the main things would be like uh, a little bit of laundry folding or one or two things in a dishwasher, in the kitchen a little bit, possibly cleaning house or outside where I'm working, where uh, like changing the oil in, in my truck or putting in a little bit of electrical stuff. See, I'm a licensed electrician, so I can pass that knowledge along. And if you ever want to see something, just comment and tell me, hey, how, how would you do this? I, I look at it and I give it my best shot and we'll see what we can do. Okay, why don't we go ahead and get started. Well, before I do that, let me just tell you, these are going to be real short videos. It ain't going to be no 15, 20 minutes to an hour. No, these are real short because they don't take that long to see what's going on. Okay, over that. If you like, give me a big old thumbs up and uh, make some comments. Okay, oh, so let's go. Okay, folks, we're going to start with uh, my version of folding tiles. But first, I'm going to show you most of the people I've seen that come visit. This is the way when they help me out. This is the way that they do it. They just take it, fold it in half. Fold it in half again, then fold it in half again. That's the way that they do it. Well, no, I granted it's nice and neat, but it takes up too much space. So here's the way I'm going to do it. Hopefully y'all would like it. Okay, again, you take it. First thing you do is fold it in half. When you fold it in half, then you're going to fold it in half one more time, just like that, but you're going to do it in thirds. There you, there you go. And uh, you got a nice, neater pile. And if you didn't get that, we'll do it again. We will sit there, take the towel, fold it in half. Fold it in half again. Then fold it over in thirds. There you go. And that's a whole lot neater than the other way. And uh, yeah, to me, that just neater. It takes up less space inside the uh, linen closet. Okay. Now, what a uh, little tip I wanted to. Uh, show y'all is uh, over here in the sink people please get you one of these strainers they're cheap you will be surprised at how much garbage and food that you put down your sink I was amazed I just happened to see these in the store and I got them. They were real cheap. And I, I like to freak out. Just by one cooking, I would have to empty it two or three times. 
especially when you wrench off the food in your plate. It catches it, you just pull it out, go over to the garbage can, and empty it. Okay. You got that. Then I wanted to show some indication about in the dishwasher. Now, when you're putting knives stuff in the dishwasher put the blade down don't leave it up because that will poke you where you're not even thinking about it you're going to wind up hurting yourself seriously but that's a big pet peeve of mine just so that you don't get hurt okay and I also one other thing that I wanted to do I wanted to show where I got a salt shaker and if you look it's got the big holes in it and what I do instead of having two a salt shaker and a pepper shaker I got this one here where I mix it 50 50 that way I just had to just pick up one just to do some shaking real easy and that's not that expensive you can pick it up at your local store but that's what I wanted to show for today and I tell you what also get you some uh, get rid of all that uh, lard or grease that you buy in the cans that stuff is not good for you so just get your little bottle get olive oil and believe me once you start doing this you uh, not use near as much granted olive oil is expensive but one bottle will last you a while because you're not having to soak the whole pan you don't have to do that and also I got one of these sprayers with olive oil in it that way when we have like flatbreads that we make for pizza it was instead of having to get a brush and a bowl you can sit there and spray it on there a whole lot easier neater oh yeah it's a whole lot better okay folks that's all the tips i'm gonna give today like i said these are going to be short videos okay well i hope somebody learned something if you got any comments or an extra use, let me know. And uh, hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Bye.